Basketball is a team sport. Only nine teams in NBA history has had a team that won a championship with only one all-star on their roster. Doing it is extremely difficult. So the question of today's video is, which MVP had better all-stars alongside them? Kevin Durant or LeBron James? LeBron's all-stars include Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Mo Williams, Kyrie Irving, Zydrunas Ilgalskis, Kevin Love, and Anthony Davis. That's seven in total. There might be more in the future, but as of this upload, this is the current list. I'm not counting near all-star players like an old Shaq or old Ray Allen. Only players who have truly made an all-star team while playing alongside LBJ. Kevin Durant's all-stars include Russell Westbrook, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and technically Kyrie Irving. James Harden wasn't actually an all-star until 2013 when he played for the Rockets. And before we straight up say that 7 beats 5, Kevin Durant has an MVP on his list. And there are three ways we can actually look at this question. We can ask ourselves who would win in a best of 7 playoff series. We can ask ourselves who relied on their all-stars more, KD or LeBron. Or we could rank all 12 players from worst to best. I'll give my take on all three angles. Let's start with the hypothetical playoff series, LeBron's All-Stars versus KD's All-Stars. Now it's super important to know that this series will not, NOT not have KD or LeBron on either team. We're simply trying to find out which collection of All-Stars would be a better team. And to make this fair, we'll make it a 5 on 5, so I'm not going to factor in Mo Williams or Big Z, no offense to either of them. At a first glance, Team LeBron is more well-rounded in terms of position. We got Kyrie Irving at point guard, Dwayne Wade at shooting guard, Chris Bosh technically at small forward, Anthony Davis at power forward, and Kevin Love at center. Kevin Durant's team is more of a log jam at point guard. It may have better chemistry since three of them are the Golden State trio, so this starting five should look like Steph Curry at point guard, Kyrie Irving at shooting guard, Clay Thompson at small forward, Russell Westbrook at power forward, and Draymond Green at center. So who would win in a 5-on-5 five five between two teams? Team LeBron has far better rebounding, but Team KD has far better floor spacing and 3-point shooting. This is actually a really close pick. For me, what this comes down to is, would Team LeBron's perimeter defense be better than Team Durant's post defense? Like, who's going to struggle more? Would Team LeBron have a harder time stopping a reign of three-pointers, or would Team Durant have a harder time stopping a team with three forward centers from mauling a team made of four point guards by attacking the paint? I personally think Team LeBron has an edge in this sense. Since it is easier for a shooter to have a cold shooting night throughout a prolonged series than it would be for a post-up player to not be as aggressive attacking the rim. I trust that Kyrie can lock up Kyrie, not on the basis that Kyrie's defense is better than his offense, but on the basis that Kyrie knows all of Kyrie's moves. I then trust that Dwayne Wade would do a great job at guarding Steph. I would put Anthony Davis on Westbrook, since he's going to be the one attacking the basket the most in the paint. And overall, this would be a tough defensive challenge, but I think Team KD has the harder defensive challenge. How is a team made up of four point guards going to block or stop a team made up of three center forwards from just destroying the paint. And while Team LeBron doesn't have all-time great three-point shooting like Team KD would have, it's not like they have bad three-point shooting, whereas in this scenario you could argue that Team KD does have bad rebounding. Ultimately, I say Team LeBron wins this in a tough six or seven games. Another way to look at this is to ask ourselves who simply had the best all-stars by their side. And to find that out, we could rank these 12 players from worst to best, or least best since all these players are pretty good in their own right. My ranking would look like this. At 12th place, we have Mo Williams. 11th place, we have Zydrunas Ilgalskis. 10th place, we have Draymond Green. 9th place, we have Kevin Love. 8th place, we have Chris Bosh. 7th place, we have Clay Thompson. 6th place, we have Nets Kyrie. 5th place, we have 2016 Cavs Kyrie. 4th place, we have Russell Westbrook. 
third place, we have Anthony Davis. Second place, we have Dwayne Wade. And in first place, we have Steph Curry. Now, some of these rankings are self-explanatory, and some are really close. Let's break down the really close ones. I put Kevin Love over Draymond Green because I see Draymond as more of a system all-star than a walking all-star. As in, I'm not 100% sure that Draymond would be seen as a clear-cut all-star if you throw him into any random lottery team. Whereas Kevin Love has proved that he could make all-star rosters on both winning and losing teams. I put Cavs Kyrie over Nets Kyrie simply because we don't actually know how Kyrie would truly react with KD on the floor just yet. You could even argue that technically, he shouldn't even be in this video. I put Anthony Davis ahead of Russell Westbrook because this isn't MVP Russell Westbrook. It's the younger co-star Russell Westbrook who didn't fit in so well with KD on the court. And finally, I put Steph Curry in first place ahead of D. Wade, not because I think Steph is overall better than Wade, but because that unanimous MVP Steph in his prime is better than an older post-prime burnt-out knees Dwayne Wade. So with Steph ranking number one on this list, technically we could give this category to Kevin Durant. In a sense, this would be the tiebreaker round, since LeBron took round one and KD took round two. But in another sense, each round isn't really designed to be compared with other rounds. More so, they're designed to present a different perspective to the overall thesis of this video. The simplest way to answer the question for this round would be to say that LeBron has proven that he can lead teams with winning records and make deep playoff runs with no all-stars at all. He did that for the majority of his time in Cleveland before he left. Now you could counter this by saying that this is more of a product of bad Cleveland management, as OKC did a much better job drafting talent around KD, so KD never had to go through the lack of talent like LeBron did early on. Though the nail in the coffin for KD's case would be the fact that he joined the team that beat him. He clearly needed Steph more than Steph needed KD. LeBron elevated his teammates, and when LBJ left Cleveland and to some extent when he left Miami, these teams went from great teams to struggling teams real fast. When KD left OKC, they were still a playoff team, and while Golden State this year is doing horrible, this is more of an injury issue than a terrible roster issue. Overall, who had better All-Stars? Well, from one angle, you could say that LeBron had better All-Stars. Since his roster of All-Stars has more overall talent as a makeshift team. But in two other angles, you could say that KD had better All-Stars in a sense that LeBron never got a chance to play with an MVP before, and KD never had the struggles of playing for a badly managed team like Cleveland in the first chunk of his career. Now of course, this is only my opinion, so let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for checking out this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe you would even consider subscribing with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.